Well, you just declared five days ago for yes, the WNBA I draft. Did. What is the process for you now? What, what is yeah. the next steps like? Yeah, so right now I'm really just, I was resting for a little bit, obviously, just giving my, my body some sort of rest. But um, now I am just getting back into training, um, trying to find a dress. Um, <laughs> I signed with an agent, which is really cool. Nice. Um, I'm going home because the draft is actually virtual this year, mm -hmm. which is different, but, you know, <laughs> obviously grateful again. And so I'm going to go home in about a week, um, stay there, train. Um, and, yeah, I'll be off to wherever I get drafted to, like, a few days after the draft. And so it's all really, really happening really, really fast. Yeah. And it's a like, super, super weird transition, but I'm grateful. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not an athlete. <laughs> I, I wish I was. I love athletics. But what must that feel like not knowing where you're going to end up? You're just yeah. sitting there waiting to be drafted, and draft night comes, and you could be playing in Minnesota yeah. and it stay here in L.A. You could be anywhere in the country, any situation. Is there somewhere you want to go? Um, I'm just at this point just really, really – grateful to just make a roster honestly because mm -hmm. if anybody knows the WNBA like it's super hard to make the rosters there's only 12 mm -hmm. spots 12 teams and so you have to be the elite of the elite to make a roster and so I really don't care honestly just want to make a roster um, but draft night is so cool like I watch draft nights just because they're so so fun to see just people's expressions and their families and how happy they are and so I'm just excited that I get to you know experience that in the next week or week and a half or so.